The first African American to win the Scribs National Spelling Bee also holds three basketball world records. 14 year old Zayla Avant Garde, an eighth grader from Harvey, Louisiana, won the prestigious competition and $50,000. She is the competition's second black champion but the first African American. It made me feel really proud, she said after clinching the victory. I'm really hoping lots of little brown girls all over the world and stuff are really motivated to try out spelling and stuff because it's really a fun thing to do and it's a great way to kind of connect yourself with education which is super important. The Florida condo death toll rises to 64 after the search for survivors officially ends. The rescue workers are now focused on finding the remains, instead of survivors, in the rubble of a Florida condominium collapse. The workers paused briefly atop the pile Thursday to mark the two-week anniversary of the disaster. And poor Tayu Prince, Haiti, 17 suspects have been detained so far in the stunning assassination of Haiti's president, and Haitian authorities say two are believed to hold dual U.S. Haitian citizenship and Colombia's government says at least six are former members of its army. Leon Charles chief of Haiti's National Police, said Thursday night that 15 of the detainees were from Colombia. We are going to bring them to justice, the police chief said, the 17 handcuffed suspects sitting on the floor during a news conference on developments following the brazen killing of President, Jovenel Moise, at his home before dawn Wednesday. Not everyone was buying the government's description of the attack. A local reporter wondered how the sophisticated attackers, as described by police, could penetrate Moise's home, security detail and panic room and escape unharmed but then be caught without planning a successful getaway. The UN Security Council met privately Thursday to discuss the situation in Haiti. Haitian officials have asked for additional security assistance. Public transportation and street vendors remain scarce. Gang violence and political unrest persist. The growing power of gangs displaced more than 14,700 people last month alone as they torched and ransacked homes in a fight over territory. It's a really explosive situation, said Robert Fatten, a Haitian expert at University of Virginia. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to help us survive.